कोई वाटर प्योरीफायर दिखा दो कौन सा चाहिए आर दे दो आर में कौन सा चाहिए कोई सा बढ़िया वाला दे दो आर है आर ओ प्लस यू है आर ओ प्लस यू प्लस यू है आर ओ यू के साथ अल्कलाइन भी है टीजर्स एडजस्टर भी है आर ओ प्लस यू प्लस यू प्लस अल्कलाइन प्लस कॉपर भी दे देंगे पांच स्टेज फिल्ट्रेशन भी है दस भी है बारह भी है आप बताइए तो आपको क्या चाहिए क्या आप भी इन्हीं की तरह परेशान है वरी नॉट लेट मी हेल्प यू Hi guys, I am Raghav and I am the founder of Pure. And today we are going to talk about how to choose the best water purifier for you and your family. So let's get started. So you have decided to buy a water purifier and you are likely considered to buy an RO purifier. But have you even checked the water quality at your place? And if you even need an RO purifier or not? So the first and foremost thing that you need to do before buying a water purifier is to know your water. You should know where your water comes from, whether it is borewell water, tanker water, municipal water, or open source, or all of them are being mixed together. Secondly, you need to check the TDS of your water. TDS means total dissolved solids, which indicates how much dissolved impurities are present in your water. A low value will indicate that your water is relatively clean and does not have very high content of dissolved impurities. and the high value will mean that it has very high volume of dissolved impurity you can check the tds of your water yourself using a tds meter which is available online readily or any ro technician near your area can also check it for you once you know the tds you should also consider the fluctuations in tds of your water right while if your water is coming from a reliable single source the fluctuation should not be more than 50 or maximum 100 points and in case of mixed water the fluctuations will be relatively high depending on the proportion of water coming from each of these sources in those cases you should consider the highest tds that you expect at your place and you should be buying your water purifier as per that tds Now that you know the TDS of your water, you need to decide the core filtration technology needed for your water. A typical water purifier will come with multiple stages of filtration, but you need to focus on the core filter in that purifier. It will be either MF micron filtration, UF ultra filtration, NF nano filtration or RO which is reverse osmosis. You need to ensure that at least one of these filters is available in your purifier. Now, WHO recommends drinking water between 100 to 300 TDS. If your water is coming from a municipal source and is less than 200 TDS, you should consider using a UF purifier. Now, if the TDS of your water is less than 200, this indicates that your water already has low levels of dissolved impurities and you should consider using a UF purifier which removes everything from water but does not reduces the TDS of your water. This will ensure that your TDS is within the WHO recommended range and cherry on the cake, UF does not waste any kind of water. Now what if your water TDS is above 200 you might be thinking that RO is the right choice in that case but it might not be RO is a very strong technology which is meant to clean even the sea water right it tends to remove almost 95 to 98% of dissolved impurities from water if you're using RO at a low TDS range it can demineralize your water and bring the TDS below 100 which is not really healthy for long term consumption as it can lead to multiple health complications like weak bones cardiovascular issues and certain type of cancers as well you should only use RO if your TDS is very high preferably at least 1200 or more so if your tds is between 200 to 1200 you should consider using a nano filtration based purifier nano filtration retains healthier minerals in your water while removing all harmful impurities from your water as well nano filtration itself comes in multiple variations like nf20 40 60 80 and you need to choose the right variant for you as per the recommendation chart shown here once you finalize the core filtration technology that is needed for your water you can then consider coupling it with filters like uv which will help reduce bacteria viruses and other microorganisms additionally now that you have decided the core filter in your purifier you need to look at the other filters available in the purifier a good purifier will typically have at least four stage filtration including pre filter sediment pre carbon and your core filter you can also couple it with a post carbon which will help in improving the taste of your water and a uv which will remove the bacteria and viruses additionally so you must be wondering that i have not talked about filters like copper alkaline tds adjuster etc etc uh, we'll be covering these these topics in our subsequent videos and in case if you are interested in getting an in depth understanding about the right water quality and how to choose the right water purifier you can go through a much detailed blog on our website i have provided the link of it in the description below go check it out